Hi, welcome to Chicky Richard Cooking's Passion Fruit Pudding. For a recent camping trip, we decided to make some passion fruit pudding with some homegrown passion fruits. We added a heap teaspoon of coconut oil with two teaspoons of raw sugar, the pulp of four passion fruits and one egg and we mix it all together. Then we added enough self-raising flour to make a thick batter, the consistency of a quite a stiff cake batter because it's going to be steamed inside the passion fruit and there's still some moisture inside those passion fruit skins that are going to help steam this pudding. We lay down some foil, we put in about two or three teaspoons of our mixture and shook it right down to get rid of most of the air. Try and divide this mixture evenly between the four passion fruit. It will rise, so don't worry if it doesn't completely fill them. It's very difficult to give you the measurements on this because it just depends on how juicy your passion fruit are. And now we just make a little pass with the foil, making sure that we completely enclose it and squeeze the top and turn it into a little handle and that way you'll know where is the top and you can also undo it. If you just roll it into a ball and pop it into the campfire it might actually just pour out of the passion fruit and that'll defeat the purpose of having it steamed in its own little organic bowl. So make four little handles. And then we're just going to put them in the coals on the outside of the fire. Don't put them right on the fire because you'll cremate them. We just put them on the outside edge and then we cook them for about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And this is where we camp for the night. It was a beautiful riverbed. We actually had a swim in this creek. And the little dogs had a swim too. In the high country of Victoria, the water was so clean and pure. So, uh, 20 minutes later. There's our little passion fruit puddings. And after 20 minutes, it's time to see what they taste like. They're moist, they're well cooked. Uh, my advice is probably to grease the foil when you're making it because it actually stuck a little bit and a little bit difficult to get off the foil. Released very easily from the passion fruit skin, but the foil itself had stuck a little bit. Absolutely packed with passion fruit flavour. Not too tart, not too sweet, and a beautiful warm snack or dessert to sit around the campfire, especially in cold weather. It's the sort of thing that you could pop into the fridge once you've cooked it, and you can just <laughs> pop it into the coals the next day. Okay pretty cold here. Here's our camp <laughs> friends, some very capable guides who showed us around their state. Tilly and Lucy enjoying the camping trip as well. I hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration of Chicky Richo's cooking of passion fruit puddings. If you'd like to see more interesting recipes and ideas, just check out our Chicky Richo channel and don't forget to please subscribe and do come back and visit us again soon. We've got so much more to show you and we're uploading lots of videos. Thanks for watching.